here on Paisley's Treasures and today we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a unicorn dream catcher which this is the finished product but we're also going to make another one today to show you how to make it but while we are going to be going through this tutorial we are my brothers are going to play with this new kit it's a uni or it's a farm sensory kit and it has like animals and all that okay so let's get started yeah. So we are going to open up the bag, and we're going to take out the instructions, take out the little hoop, that's neatly wrapped, and we're going to take out the little baggie with the ribbon, which I'll show you after we're done making this, and then the ears and the horn. And then we have the string to make the dream catcher. And then we have all these flowers, which we'll take out once we're done. So, so first we are going to tie a loop. Alrighty. Now you are going to do a little loop. like So you're going to take the string and you're going to pull it in and you're gonna make this little gap right here and you're just gonna keep on doing that nine times so you're just gonna go like this take it and tighten it right here but don't tighten it right here it's just gonna be like this pull it through this again. Now let's make it, and you want to make sure that they're kind of the same length. Just like this. Okay, so since I did a, a little bit too far apart, we're just going to do seven, but it's not going to mess up the dream catcher, so we'll just go with it. Then what you're going to do for your next step is you're going to take this big string and you're going to pull it through this, this tiny little hole right here. And you're just going to keep on doing that until you hit where you started or where you ended at the first time. Then you're gonna do this over like this. And you're gonna try to make it tight, as tight as you can. And remember you guys, it doesn't have to be perfect. Sorry, it's a little bit tangled because I'm trying to put it in these small holes. this hole and then pull it through the last hole. Oh wait, never mind. There's one more hole. Alrighty. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put the string through all these holes again, but not the bigger ones. So you're just going to do this again. Tangled, already there. Keep on doing this, just like this. And see, it it looks a little bit lopsided on some parts, but that's just what makes it look potential. Have have potential. Sorry. Keep 
keep on doing. And then this is the another hole. Alrighty, then you're going then you're going to keep on doing this until you reach the middle. So you're just keep gonna keep on putting your string through the holes that you did before. And make sure you don't miss miss one or it's gonna kind of look a little bit well it's gonna kind of mess up but it's okay kind of like this just keep on doing it and it's kind of look like it's kind of starting to look like a web like a spider web so that's what I think is super cool And the best part about dream catchers is that is that they catch all your bad dreams. So yeah, that's good. I need a dream catcher, so that's why I'm gonna put this in my room after I'm done. <laughs> Alrighty, and we're almost done. Just a few more holes to go through. Kind of getting hard, you guys. We're almost done. Almost done. And then once you think it's done, what you're going to do like, I think this is done. I think this is good. So then you're going to get your baggie out and you're gonna take everything out and you're gonna grab this pink bead right here. This is what's going to, like, it's just a pretty decoration and it's what is going to hold all your bad dreams. So, but before we tie it on, we are going to snip this. Just like that. And you're gonna slide the bead on here. And then you're gonna tie a knot. But you wanna make it tight. So now that we've done the knot, we're going to take this and just snip it. And a boom! Now that we are done with this part, now we're gonna move on to bye bye. the horn and the ears. So, oh, got this little business card inside here. And then we get a little horn, which we are going to put over this little metal piece so you can't see the little hoop, like this. And then we're gonna grab out the two ears. Pretty ears. And then these little pink, they kind of look like ears or horns, but they are part of the ear. So they're the inside, just like that. And it's super sparkly, so. Alrighty, so we're going to try to hot, well, we are going to hot glue this right there. Put a lot of glue so it stays in place. And any type of glue would work. Any type of glue that would work, but I suggest hot glue, even though it hurts sometimes when you put too much glue. But it dries a lot quicker, so you don't have to wait to hang it. Then we're going to do the ears. So you're just gonna put the ears right next to the horn, just like this. So it's gonna look like that, just like a unicorn. Glue and 
gently press on it because I learned that the hard way. So you don't get burnt. Just like that, and then we're gonna glue the next ear on. Now that we've got the two ears on, we're gonna do the inside ears. Inside of the ears, I should say. Yeah. And you're just gonna put it like right in the middle so there's just enough space for both of the ears so you can see them both. And you wanna glue where the white spot is. So, like the bottom white spot. Just like this. Quickly put it on. Just like that, and then we'll do the last one. Maybe just like that. Here we go. Now we are going to do what I think I, well, I know that I've been waiting for, and that is the flowers. So what we're gonna do with the flowers is we are going to make, well, we are going to make a little crown type thing where it's just gonna be like a little lay of flowers right here, and it's gonna be like a little, it's kind of like a little wreath, but, it's a drink. And we've got these little cute gold flowers and all that. And we're just going to go like that. So let's start doing it. And you see this little green, uh, green little stem? You're going to glue that part. It's just way easier and it looks a lot better than gluing the whole entire flower. Just like this, it kind of looks like there's a flower in its ear. And I'm just kidding. It's there's no like specific way to glue it or to like do the flowers. But I like to try to make like little um, patterns on my flowers. So like each side is like twins, kind of. so it looks the exact same. And then we got these pretty blue, kind of mermaidy, unicorn y um, flowers. And we're just going to keep on doing this until we're done. And this is a super fun way to bond with your parents and like to keep the bad dreams away, too. I think this is super fun to make and like when you go into your room at night you know that or you're not going to have a bad dream because you have the dream catcher. So. so, yes. And if you have any extra flowers, you can always decorate you can always decorate the bottom of the unicorn too if you would like. own bunch of flowers so you never know what you get and there's also different kinds of string too different colors string like you could get gold purple and each and every bunch kind of goes with the theme of the unicorn so you could get like gold string and like a couple of gold flowers or like white flowers that matches with the gold and you just never know what you'll get so like you'll probably never get this kind of bunch of flowers again but you can also get like a better kind like kind of like how this one is and it's super pretty so now our final touch is going to be the ribbon it's just kind of a decorative piece of the unicorn dream catcher kind of like the legs or like the sparkles of it like floating in your room so what you're gonna do is you're going to 
do these like you're going to, what should I say? Like straighten them out so the ends match. And then you're going to use this loop and you're going to put your thumb kind of on it. And you're going to lift it up. And then you're going to put these two strings right here through the little loop that we have right here. And this is an easy way for you not to waste glue and it stays on there perfectly. And then there's different kinds of ribbon too. So it's not like just one color, just like this. And you're going to, you can always use like a couple of ribbon and then maybe save the rest if you get another kit or you could do whatever you want. But I'm going to use all of the ribbon. <laughs> and you're just going to go like this. You're just gonna keep on doing it. Ooh. Keep on doing it. And I really like this because it just makes it, it makes a dramatic effect of it like floating in your room. And it's kind of like, it's just super cool, I would say. And then just one more ribbon and it's this super pretty yellow. And now we're done. This is the finished look of the unicorn dream catcher. And I really hope you like this video as much as I love creating this video. And I just really hope you like it. And if you would like to buy this kit, don't worry to go on all my social media accounts, Instagram, Facebook, and my website. So yeah, I really hope you like this video. Click a like and subscribe and bye.